I just finished the hardest challenge I have ever put myself through. It felt horrible. One thousand. My body is still screaming. But I kept reminding myself that it was for a good cause. It's not about getting fit. I'm done. It's about changing perspective when things get hard and doing it anyway. You move your body, Same. get it going. You'll feel better afterwards. I fucking hardly ever want to do it. It's 5.30 in the morning. If my, I maybe want to want to actually do it five out of ten times. I hate running. But God damn it, take care of your fucking meat vehicle. <laughs> Life will be hard. But if you choose what is hard, your life will be easy. So why do we find it so hard to do things that will make us feel better? It all comes down to our perspective. That was a question that was coming repeatedly while I was cozying the hell out under my warm blankets watching Netflix. Or when I realized that I was spending on average four hours a day on my phone. I tried to think of the last time I was feeling happy or just had a positive feeling of well-being. The only time I could feel that was when I was going outside of my comfort zone. I was learning something new or challenging myself. I actually lied. I didn't wake up at 5.30. I couldn't sleep, so I never slept at all. I hate running, but I went. I never run but I run 10K. While I was running, there was endless time where I wanted to give up. I was out of breath. My lungs were wanted to fly out of my chest. But afterwards, I felt amazing. I'll be in the middle of the workout, I'm sweating, I'm like, fuck yeah. Yeah. Woo! yeah. And then I get into it. It's like, it just, you got to push past that creepy resistance. What your mind tells you that is easy is not always good for you. But if you look at the hard things as a way to become better, stronger, healthier, if you want to get the speed of Bruce Lee, be smart like Einstein, or productive like Elon Musk, what we have in common with them is the 24 hours we have to spend in one day. What the difference is between me, you and them is probably what they do in the day and what they repeat the day after that day. I bet they didn't took the easy route. I tracked every meter I covered by running, or by bike. I counted every rep I did. When you set a goal for yourself, focus on how you want to feel. David Goggins, for example, did something unique while he was going through hell. He saw every obstacle as fuel and every discomfort as an opportunity to strengthen his mind. It was his mind and the way he looked upon things that made him accomplish superhuman results. That badass motherfucker run 100 miles on broken legs and peeing blood. Back, fuck up. Not to say that was smart, it was dumb as hell. But he's a real life example of what the mind is capable of if we focus on the right things. This year we lost Kobe Bryant. People die every day. All those people probably feel powerless, paralyzed by their emotions and the fear of what can happen to them eventually. But realize this, the only thing you've got is your perspective on life. So while every doctor and nurse is out there risking their lives in the front line, I find it only fair to follow their guidelines and stay safe, but also work on myself and where I put my focus and what my perspective is. So instead of thinking, how hard something is before you do it. Think what will happen if you don't. Think of what other people have accomplished because they did. 